So the first thing that we're gonna do in ESXi after we make sure that your ISO file that you need to create the VM from is on your data store is to go to create slash register VM. So we're gonna click on that and we're going to choose create a new virtual machine, click next and give it some name. I use the template user 40, user something something dash Kali 2018. I am creating user 44 right now. I'm going to choose Linux and other 3.x or later 64 bit. Click next, click next. And in here, I'm going to choose the adapter that I want to connect it to. I have three adapters on my network, but I want to connect this one to adapter that's called Wi-Fi network. And then I am going to choose the ISO that I want to load as, as if it's a CD on that machine. Next and finish. It will take a few seconds and your VM will be ready to use. Here's user 44. It's not started up. I will click on it. In this screen, you can verify the network adapter name and that it has the ISO connected to it. Now let's fire up this VM. That's gonna pop up a window for us to start the installation. Simply go down to install and follow the regular Kali installation that you would do on any kind of a regular machine. If you have set up Kali before, then this would be really simple for you. Uh, I will just show you my way of doing it. I have some certain names that I use and things like that. So um, I call the machine according to its name that I choose, which is user 44 in this example. So you can use the same naming convention or not, it's up to you. But um, you will see here it's trying to pick up an IP address, which it will do successfully. Sometimes it doesn't, but usually it would do it. And here I will change the host name from Kali to user 44. And I make that the same name for this, the machine every time, user 44, 45, 46. The root password, I'm gonna type tor, T-O-O-R, T-O-O-R, and click next. And I'm gonna choose Eastern where I am. And then I will choose, or press enter guided, press enter again, and then press enter one more time and press finish. And at this point, it's important to remember that on the next screen, you have to move to yes such that you write the changes to disks and press enter. It's going to take some time to install the system. So I will fast forward this process and I will come back when it's done. The next step is really, really important. It will ask you if you want to use a network emitter or not. Make sure to choose no. If you choose yes, problems will occur in the future. I've tried it. I've got into a lot of trouble. So make sure that you choose no and press enter. When you get to this step where it asks you if you want to install the grub boot loader to the master boot record or not, make sure to choose yes. So keep it as it is at yes and press enter and then use the uh, down arrow to move to dev SDA and press enter. We'll take a little bit and then it will start finishing the installation. You will then receive this message that asks you to remove the installation media and then reboot the machine. So I will click continue 
and later on you can just go to the configuration of that VM and just disconnect the ISO from that VM. The virtual machine will now reboot after the installation and you will see that it's a looks like a regular Kali VM, very, very normal. Once it boots up, I will log in using root and T-O-O-R as a password. Once you are in the VM, the first thing I recommend you do is to open up a terminal and make sure that you can ping 8.8.8.8. .8 Just make sure that it has internet connectivity. Um, you're also welcome to check its IP and make sure that it's on, it's grabbing an IP from the DHCP. So pinging is working, which is great. In the next video, I will show you how I assign a static IP to this machine from my PFSense router and VPN.